deceive. So again, why? Because they're under deception. You know, when you are under deception, you, it's not that you don't see, you see something, but then somehow, somehow you don't see it. You don't perceive what actually is taking place. Eh? Hallelujah. So now you see, eh? uh, Jesus says, take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man heed you. And the Spirit of God is telling us, uh, uh, you know, is shining this light that we may not only awaken, but counter and spread something that is contrary, the light of God across. He says, take heed that no man deceive you. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Eh? Second Thessalonians chapter 2. He says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, eh? and by our gathering together unto him. This will be a very glorious day. He says, our gathering together unto him. <laughs> very glorious day. I, can, uh, I, 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 I just don't have the words to describe it. He says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, it will be a day. <laughs> it will be a day a very normal day and all of a sudden you will find yourselves in the clouds eh? and you will be seeing him just slightly above you and we are all gathered and there is all glory before we finally take off but we shall first be caught up in the clouds eh? all together eh? a very normal day some of you will have you know prepared your meal cooking and before it's ready you are gone eh? <laughs> But I can assure you that in the days leading to it, you will, not, you, 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 you will know that something is about to happen. Anyway, 